There's a lot of vaccine misinformation online, including this post that was sent to me, showing the differences in the number of vaccines now compared to in 1983, saying that there's some sort of conspiracy as to why there's more vaccines now. But the way the person listed this, it makes it seem like your child is getting separate injections, when in actuality, many of these are getting combined into one injection, which is safe to do, and many of these are seasonal vaccines. So let's discuss. Is there some sort of ploy to cause harm or can we use some common sense here? Is it because modern medicine has advanced since 1983 and with it has come the science to create vaccines against illnesses that need them? Vaccines are created for illnesses that cause complications, hospitalizations, or death. So you will likely never see a vaccine for hand, foot, and mouth because well, although it's annoying, we don't see high numbers of long-term complications, hospitalizations, or death from it warranting a vaccine. This chart shows the positive impact of vaccination programs in the United States in terms of cases and deaths pre and post vaccine. The reason you don't see diseases like polio, diphtheria, and smallpox were because of vaccine programs. The reason you see measles outbreaks every few years is because of reduced vaccine administration. The less people get a vaccine, the more an illness can come back unless the disease is completely eradicated internationally. Vaccine programs are created to prevent disease, reduce complications from these illnesses, and reduce the risk of death from these illnesses. Stay informed and read the caption for more, including how to get my free resource on vaccine information.